everybody, it's Lori and welcome back to Bizarre Studios. I am, as you can see, in a different environment. I am down in my Florida beach home. The guest bedroom has become my studio. I am where it is nice and warm and I'm loving it here. And it feels great to be in the sunshine away from the northeastern winter where, yeah, we got some snow the other day. Not to rub it in, but I am enjoying myself very much. So I wanted to say hi, thanks for joining me. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. I received some wonderful products from a company called Viswin. Whole bunch of products. I did an unboxing video. I posted it on my YouTube channel probably a couple weeks back. So I'll leave a link to that down below in the description box and let you know which video that was if you're interested in seeing everything it came with. One of the things it came with was this sink strainer. So I am going to do a sink strainer pour today. I've always wanted to try one of these and I just haven't done it yet. So I'm gonna get you down on the table and we'll get going and I'll show you what I got going on. So thanks for joining me. Let's get started. All right, everybody, here we go. Now I have my spinner here and I have a square eight by eight canvas all set here, ready to go, sitting on my spinner. So what I did is I mixed up six paints. I'll leave the um, recipe for everything down below, my pouring medium, all that good stuff. And I'm using Viswins, Viswins, I'm sorry, Viswins silicone oil that they sent along in this big box of goodies. Here's my colors right here. My paints are right here and I put one drop in each color and then I stirred it maybe like about 10 times with my stir stick. So I have six colors I'm gonna use and I'm using this sink strainer today and I'm gonna place it right in the center of my canvas. So I have my colors all set up here and I'm just gonna start pouring it in my strainer. First color I have, these are all Viswin paints, by the way, and they come in these two ounce bottles, just like this. And I just mix these with the US Floetrol. And I'm gonna pour the black first. This is lamp black. I'm just gonna pour this in first, and then I'm gonna do five other colors afterwards, and I'll tell you what they are as I go. The next color I have is magenta. It's pretty bright, it's pretty. Kind of looks like a neon pink, but it's really pretty, I like it. The next one I have is, uh, what's this one? Oh, cerulean blue. So this is cerulean blue. I'm gonna do this one next. Next one I have is called Sky Blue, so it's like a light blue. They put my magenta after the black because I was thinking that would look like a really pretty pop of color. So we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect, like I said. This is actually my first time doing a strainer pour. I've been wanting to do one of these for probably a year and I just never have. I got carried away doing my blooms and many other things and my abstract paintings and I sort of forgot about this and this opportunity came along. So here I am doing my titanium white now. As I pour, I'm kind of just covering the previous color. I'm not really pouring it too hard. I'm not holding it up high and I'm gently just sort of Pouring it in, covering the previous color that I poured down. Now this last color is, um, they call this emerald green. So this is almost, almost like an, I don't know what it is really. At first I thought it kind of looked like an aqua kind of green, turquoise kind of green. But this is emerald green by Viswin. Here we go. So this is cool. You see it coming out there? Um, it's coming out underneath. I don't want to spin this yet, but we're getting some really cool results. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more black down. I'm going to try and use up the rest of my paint here. So when I mix these up, these are only like two ounce cups. And what I did is I mixed up about 
three quarters of an ounce of US Floetrol to one quarter of an ounce of Viswin paint. So I guess if you look at it that way, I'm thinking to myself here, it's not even really a pouring medium. All it is is Floetrol and paint. I didn't add water. I didn't add any GAC 800. I didn't add any varnish, anything like that. So it's basically two ingredients, paint and Floetrol. And that is it. Very, very easy, very simple. You can do this. I know you can. If you haven't tried it before, I recommend it. I find this interesting because I'm wondering if I didn't center my strainer. To me, it looks like it's running off this way more than this side, but that's okay. There's a lot of paint on here, but I do want to add a dash more blue because I don't want to end with the pink in the middle. I'm trying to mix this in a little bit more. All right, this looks cool. And I'm just going to put a dash of the light blue. Just a dash of white. I think we're good. I think my emerald green is just about gone. This is just a test anyway. It wasn't really like a commission piece or anything. So it's just more for fun and I'm testing out a new product. So this is really neat. I'm loving the results I'm getting. You wanna lift this strainer off when you do this very slowly. and then place your hand underneath it so that you don't get drips when you pull it off. And then find some place to put it where it won't make a huge mess. <laughs> you should have a place ready. Keep that in mind. I didn't even think of that, but I just uh, actually threw it in the trash barrel. <laughs> I will get that when I'm finished and I'll wash it out. All right, this is really cool looking. Oh, I like this. Now I do want to try to level this out. I mean, you know, like even it out a little bit. I got too much running off that side. And I want it to come over this side more. So I'm tipping it off this edge a little more because I wanted to get some of this paint off over here. I want to keep my center in the center though, if possible. Now I haven't torched or anything. So let's see what happens when I torch it because silicone oils love the heat. So when you torch it, usually that's when you start seeing your cells. I'm thinking I almost should have laid them in a cup and then poured one cup into the strainer. That would have been really cool looking. The center of this has some cells. I'm not really seeing a lot of cells anywhere else, honestly. Interesting. This part is the prettiest part right here in the middle. There's multiple colors. Huh. All right, onward. Let's go finish this up. I'm just uh, wondering if I should do anything to it, but I think at this point, I'm just gonna spin it. However, I do need to get some paint on my corners here because there isn't any. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some of this white over here. gonna drag this here so that it reaches the corners and the sides all the way. You wanna make sure that your sides and everything are covered. As I touch that, there's cells forming. That's interesting. Oh, ah, well that's really interesting. Some of the cells coming up right here. I didn't expect that. kind of questioning what I should do next. <laughs> all right, so now all my corners are completely covered. Look at this, I even have cells on my palette knife. <laughs> that was one little drop, one little drop of silicone in each cup. This is really, really amazing. I am so tempted to just swipe out from the middle. And of course I'm gonna lose all of this, but all of the neat design from the strainer, but, um, hmm. I think I'm gonna swipe in a couple spots. I just need to find, here we go. 
and my swipe tool here, which is just basically a plastic card. And I'm gonna swipe in a couple spots because I'm interested to see what happens. That is really cool. Whole bunch of cells just came up right there. Very pretty. Oh, so pretty. I don't typically use silicone, honestly, um, but I do have a silicone uh, cleaner that sometimes I do use. It kind of works pretty good. Um, other people clean it in Dawn dish soap and water. You want to make sure you get all your silicone off your painting if you're going to varnish it or resin it because otherwise it will um, it will not adhere to your painting. The cells are awesome. It's fun to watch cells develop. I love the cells. I love them, I love them. I think they're so cool. Oh my gosh, this almost looks like a starfish. Of course, I have the beach on my brain because I've been down at my beach house for about a week now. And <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. Wow, this is really cool. I like this. I'm gonna tip it this way. This is not what I was planning on at all, obviously, but with fluid art, you know this is what you get sometimes. The unexpected. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give this a, you know what, I'm gonna torch one more time real quick, just cause. Um, I wonder if I should do something in the middle real quick. I kind of think I wanna do something in the middle here. Oh yeah, that's cool, like that. I wanna make sure it stays centered. All right, let's spin. I'm gonna spin it gently. For starters, I gotta see how my paint starts flowing. I wanna make sure everything's flowing evenly. Some of the corners I was a little concerned about. Yeah, these corners need just a little bit more paint on them. So I'm gonna take it off the mat and just put it on my corners. Let's spin this again. This is pretty. Wow, this is gorgeous. I'm trying to decide if I want to spin anymore. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose too much of the magenta. I don't know, I like the way it runs through these sections here from the edges, it looks really neat. Wow, this is pretty. There's some more cells coming up here. I'm gonna leave it. Yep, I'm gonna leave it just like this. I'm done with it and I'm happy with this. I like it a lot. I think this came out amazing. Let me give you a nice close up. All right, so here's my close up for you. I love this section right here. This section is really cool. Really pretty. It'll be interesting to see how this dries. I have no reason to think it won't dry nicely because it should. You spun a bunch of paint off it, so there shouldn't be too much and I really love the magenta throughout this. It adds that nice pop of color there that I was looking for. The center is really neat. Look at where the black, the black is there, all these cells. These are really pretty. Wow, all right. Well, there we have it, everyone. What do you think of this? Are you gonna try this one? I think it's really neat. Wow, I just love this section. I could just look at this all day. That's really pretty. 
But okay, I'm done. I'm out of here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.